poll, the election whisperer, using artificial intelligence to forecast the result. Welcome back to Sunrise. During an election campaign, it's vital to stay up to date with public opinion. And as we learned three years ago, the polls can be dead wrong, but artificial intelligence is taking this election to a new level. Elisa Choi is an economist and data strategist who uses information from websites, blogs, social media to predict the future, as well as the US presidential election. She's also accurately, would you believe, picked the winner of The Voice, three years in a row and she's got some extraordinary insights about this election and what Australians are really thinking and feeling. I'm fascinated by that. Lisa joins us now. Morning to you. All right. Polls currently have a landslide to Labor. What is your data telling you? Okay. The data at this point in time, and we're day one of election campaigning, it's saying that it's not going to be a Labor landslide. Oh. And that is because we're seeing, well, firstly, three things. Deep discontent with Morrison, but doesn't mean that they'll vote for Labor. Right. Labor does not have an impact at the moment. So they haven't turned up, they haven't shown up. So what I'm looking at now is that we're not going to be seeing a Labor landslide at this stage. People are still undecided. OK. So explain how your method works and how it's different to just following social media. OK. So we use the largest data set on earth, which is the internet. Right. So when people engage with content online, to engage with issues and topics like elections, they'll be analysing content, reading, sharing, commenting, and that's what we analyse. Millions of behavioural interactions online in their natural environment, meaning people don't know that they're being observed yep. while they're looking at their digital screen. And so that allows us to see and take a peek into what people truly feel, are mm. truly interested in, and we don't even have to ask a question. Okay. So better than a poll where you're asking somebody who would you vote for, people don't often tell you the truth. And we know in the last 10 years, every major election referendum has gotten it wrong through polling data. So it's not just Twitter, because that's a bit of a cesspool, but uh, it's Instagram, it's Facebook, all of the social media ch um, channels. It includes social media. So we look at websites, blogs and social media, everything that's outside a firewall. Right. OK. So what are the topics that are driving this election conversation mm. from us, okay. the voter? So when we're looking at elections, we're looking at some core issues, some basic buffet of election issues like the economy, yeah. jobs, um, COVID, etc. Then we look at specific Australian issues such as bushfires, women, um, integrity and corruption in politics. So we analyse 25 narratives and through the analysis of these narratives we are measuring how people feel because it's the em emotions that drive people to behave. It's emotions that drive behaviour, but strong emotions change our behaviour. Right. And so we, we measure the intensity of emotion and they signal a future change in behaviour, which means how they will vote. OK. What about the, po the issues like political bullying, the infighting? Is that annoying us? and you're saying economy and national security, that's being pushed, particularly by the coalition at the moment. Yep. Is that a vote getter? OK, so we did a ranking of the 25 issues we've just analysed, and this is a rank order of the issues that are predicted to determine how people will vote in this election. Do you want me to tell you what the top yep. five are? Yep, All top right. five. Top five are, number one, cost of living. Yep. And we just saw Albo talk about cost of living. Yep. Number two unemployment. Number three, property values. Number four, homelessness. And number five, climate change and Morrison. Interesting. Climate change slash Morrison. Okay, so he's up there whether we like him or not, along with climate change. Climate change is a, a very important issue, but this is a rank order. So they're the top five, but we've still got the next suite of five that are very interesting that will also determine how people will vote. No single oh. issue will be in this election. It'll be an interrelation of these issues and how people feel it's relevant to their lives. 
I found it interesting in the top four that we just talked about, yep. they're related to survival. Yep. Cost of living, homelessness, property values, unemployment. Yep. Yep. So when you're talking about climate change or women's issues or bushfires or national security, they're not necessarily directly related to you as a voter. Yep. So we're going to be seeing how these candidates fare in talking to these top issues. Well, Lisa, I look forward to catching up with you again during the campaign. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. That's fascinating, Mon, isn't it? Oh, unbelievable.